Welcome back to the good old Southern IA. So if you guys don't know, you guys are turned into, turned into, tuned into, you, you don't even tune in, you've clicked into the Iowan Farmer YouTube channel. We are in the spring vlog, which means that I'm just filming what I do every single day and I have no clue what I'm going to do most days. And if I did know what I was going to do, Andrew would probably screw it up and make me do something else. <laughs> no. But if you guys enjoy the content and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and then also hit the like button. That helps support the channel. And Molly's editing the videos, and she'll sure really appreciate that. You got to guarantee it. Got to guarantee it. Yeah, something like that. But in big world news, I've switched back to hot coffee. <laughs> on a chilly morning. It's, it, it, it literally got down the. Come on, GoPro. It literally got down to like 32 degrees last night and if you guys are new here we've got 200 acres of corn in the ground i knitted a bunch of sweaters last night though you did you did i, did. I knitted a bunch of sweaters for it okay change that PTA. um nothing we also need uh like some the side shields aren't on it yet okay. they're in the cab i think it was like a 12. and this bar fell apart on you last year yeah. Rebecca found one of your pieces in the field yesterday. Well, guess what? I found another one that's in today's video. Oh, by the way, happy anniversary, dear. Oh, hey. Yeah. There you go. Happy anniversary. Where was my train of thought? Something about corn. Uh, getting cold. cold. One sip, everybody knows the rules. It was a difficult choice to switch back to hot coffee. Not many people could do that, but I did it. You're going to have to probably... I'm guessing... They're probably the same that's the inside you can tell by the way the way it is yeah they're the same they're they're the same the power steering pumps on this thing's leaking though i told your dad this thing's leaking hydraulic oil and he's like oh it's just the power steering pump and then i stopped and picked up some sticks I'm like, that ain't just the power steering pump did you find yourself something i think everybody should have a blue healer the thing about a blue healer is that I think that they're like part dingo, like the whole the dingo ate your baby, which is kind of, from what I understand, like a coyote of Australia, which there's going to be somebody from Australia that'll comment on this. But basically, they're scavengers and they'll eat dead stuff. If you have a blue healer, the deader, the stinkier, the more rank it is, the more that dog seems to like it. So some days he comes to smelling real peachy. <laughs> Tonga, I think. So I guess I should probably tell you guys what we're doing today. We are burning CRP. Which means that we gotta get to the fire tender. I'm out of jack, I think. Ha <laughs> ha suckers. Two, three. Two, three. Keep trying to put this glove on, but it's the wrong hand. Heck yeah. It's the right left hand. Now where did I put a GoPro? Oh there it is. Hey, Dad. I think we'll have to plant this next. It's going to be our warmest soil temperatures. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <A pun? Yeah. laughs> this here is our fire rig. It's an old century sprayer that I paid way too much money for about three years ago. I actually bought it with the intentions of spraying some liquid nitrogen onto a hay crops to try and be that its nitrogen source, like with streamer nozzles. And needless to say, I struggled with that. It had like a roller pump, not a roller pump. That's a roller pump. It had a pump, PTO pump here. It was fabricated and not square. It kept throwing the belt. So that's when it became the fire rig. It's 300 gallons. It's got the roller pump on it. 540 roller pump. Comes through this manifold. Did we build this last year or the year before? 
last year manifold comes through this here is a bypass valve so when it's on you can increase and decrease your pressure uh, if say nothing's on like the hose on the back the pressure will spike pop this open and then it returns it to the tank this valve right here has my pressure gauge on it also but this one runs to the back back here where we've got a cheapo amazon hose reel i think it's like 50 foot or something this is what we use mainly just to control the back burns this i'm supposed to actually at some point i want to fill this in i should have done that already but this could be tailgate to throw things you want to carry with you for the day like the torches and we actually got backpack sprayers and stuff too and then just in case something gets out of control i can hit this nozzle right here which goes to basically a fire hose end and it dumps out quite a bit of water with 300 gallons you don't want to use that the entire time you'll just run out of water and i'll show you how both of those things work but that thing's made burning crp significantly nicer hasn't it oh yeah <laughs> we used to burn crp with five gallon backpack sprayers so you'd have a five gallon backpack sprayer on your back all day long walking around with it your back's always wet you're getting it refilled he's dumping it in the mine with two and a half gallons of like old uh totes made it a long day you had to be close to the fire the entire time your face was black by the end of the day it's a mess this a lot easier No, so why do you have to burn CRP? You want to tell the YouTubers? Uh, this is expired CRP. This is going to corn. We're burning this off to hopefully maybe have a better chance of planting it into corn. The other CRP we have to burn is because the government wants it burned. They it, call them mid, -tra right. mid contract management yeah. burns usually in year four five and six of a 10-year contract but they split up the field though you burn third a, a third, third and a third a third a third a third and you also have to burn different types of seedings more frequently don't you i don't know about that you don't know okay i thought when we did that cp42 burn we had to burn it like the first year or second year two or something we like that. we just burned that all we just burned that okay These are the backpack sprayers I was talking about. So since I still have the end command in here, we can actually take advantage of one of its functionalities. Since what we're doing today is burning and we want to have a good controlled burn, we can go into our functions here and what we're going to do is create a boundary right here. And then we'll drive around the outside of the field and wherever we drive the fire can't go past. here is the outlet for the pattern tile job that we did on my dad's farm it's just trickling water right now but we'll flip back to actually when I flew my drone out here after a few rains so if you go backwards in some footage this was a pattern tile job that we did three inch pipe on 20 foot centers what we think is really gonna work well in our soils I flew my drone over that it was ripping some water out of there we'll play that now Okay, as we pan up the hill here, actually, this is the field that we are burning in pretty much right now. So you can kind of see what the CRP looks like. Here's the job that we did last fall. This is your 20-foot centers, 3-inch pipe. I think all in all, we did right around 20, a little over 20 acres that was pattern tiled. Uh, we've never been truly saturated yet this year. Right now, we're actually quite a bit drier. Uh, this was the wettest we've been at this point and you guys can see how much water now was actually moving out of that system it's really nice to see that thing working like that pretty cool stuff huh so right here you can see how that's working the pto spinning uh we've got 40 pounds of psi the pop-off valve you can change your psi right there but when it pops off and then when it pops off just returns it to the tank spray that real quick now it doesn't push the water back up since he's using it. And, uh, hopefully that makes sense.
swamp this truck. Look at that, that's a deer trail right there. So stoppled down that nothing will grow on it. actually thinking about no-till in this field except for we have ant mounds everywhere anybody got a good idea for knocking those down if we till this we're going to deal with all the saw like the roots and stuff that's just going to be an issue so it'd be worth to try to no-till this i don't know let me know comment section That's gonna do it for today's video guys uh burning probably again tomorrow don't worry about this thing behind me you'll see it at some point <laughs> we're actually trying it out for the first time here tonight with the tillage tool get a few things done level out some tile runs yeah see you next time well it's officially that time of year guys ticks are out gonna have the heebie-jeebies going to bed tonight.